The following videos are for information only and they're not meant as a substitute for working with aggressive dogs uh, without the experience and knowledge of professional uh, dog trainers or behaviour consultants that use positive reinforcement when they are working with their dogs. In this video I'll start to discuss how we treat or the various protocols for treating aggression. Now, as trainers or behaviour consultants, we need to have some scientific knowledge of the procedures that we're doing. If we don't have a scientific knowledge, now we don't need to know all the terms inside out, okay, but we just need to know um, what associations are being made for the dog, or sorry, what associations the dogs are making, or what the consequences are for the dog. Whether the associations are good for the dog or bad, as far as the dog's concerned, okay, not as far as we're concerned, or whether the consequences are good or bad as far as the dog's concerned. Now, the reason why we need to do that is because if we don't have a proper understanding of them, it, I have found that some trainers, and this is just it, it's, it's in broad terms I'm talking here, I'm, I'm generalising, I've found that discussions with trainers who don't have a proper scientific knowledge of treatment protocols, of classical conditioning and of operant conditioning, they tend to, or some of them tend to use more aversive training, okay? Because it works for us, okay? But it's not just about us, it's about the effect that it has on the dog as well, okay? Now, we want to start at the lower end of the spectrum and uh, work our way up as and when needed. The whole thing about tools in your toolbox, and you hear this with trainers that use metal collars, um, spray pistols, um, shock collars is that it's a tool in my toolbox yeah it is a tool in your toolbox but it's not something that you just use because you can't be bothered or don't know how to use the tools which are lower down the aversive spectrum we don't always jump in and nor should we we shouldn't jump in we should not jump in at a high level we should always 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 start at the baseline uh, which I'll, I'll discuss okay so uh, that's just an introduction to why we need to have a scientific foundation for these protocols and uh, I'll, I'll go on to discuss them in the next videos. Any questions on any of the information I've given you here, um, stick them in the comments field and I'll do my best to answer them. We can have a, a chat about it. Okay, and thanks for watching.